is there a way to perfectly center the crosshair in the OSD display? Nope. The crosshair takes up two spaces, and because of the way the Betaflight canvas is, it can either be slightly to the left or slightly to the right, but it can't be direct centered. Kind of weird, huh? Don't use the crosshair. The crosshair is overrated. Don't use the crosshair, is my opinion. Just learn how to see see where the drone is going. What is the crosshair telling you? Where's the center of the screen? Well, it's not fucking Call of Duty. Like, you can see the center of the screen. You can see where the drone is going. Here's the problem with the crosshair, okay? Let's say I have a drone, okay? The drone is flying straight forward, all right? Straight forward. Therefore, if the crosshair is pointed right here, then that's where I'm going to go. Oh, is that true? Because if the crosshair could be pointed dead center on the camera, but the drone could be descending. Oh, oops. The drone could be climbing. The crosshair doesn't tell you anything about where you're going to go. People think if I have the crosshair in the center of the screen and I put the crosshair on a gap, then I'm going to go through the gap. No, you won't. Look, look right here. I'm going to point this right at the camera. Okay, ready? Do you see that it's pointing straight at the center of the camera? Okay. Oh, oh, look, it's pointing straight at the center of the camera the whole time. Did I go through the gap? No. A drone can be pointed any direction it wants. Look, I'm going to point the, point the crosshair to the side, and now I'm going to roll left, and I'm going to go through the gap sideways. A drone can be pointed any direction it wants. The crosshair doesn't tell you anything about where the drone is going to go. It's like, it's like when people try sim racing. They try racing online, right? Car racing, automobile racing. And they turn the racing line on. And the racing line shows them how to go around the track. Well, that's fine if all you're doing is time trialing. But as soon as you get on a track with other people, the racing line is just, you're so focused on the racing line that you're not paying attention to the whole rest of the track and everyone else that's on it. And I think and uh, there are pilots who I respect. There are pilots who are better pilots than me who, ra who, who have the crosshair on and like it. So I acknowledge that other people disagree with me on this. But I got to say, I think that the crosshair, beginners think the crosshair is going to help them hit gaps. And I think it distracts you from actually paying attention to what the drone is doing. And you should turn the crosshair off. Now, if you were to put a, a pew pew of some kind on the drone... And you were to align the pew pew so that the crosshair was where the pew pew was aligned, then the crosshair would be telling you something useful, not about where the drone was going to go. So there is a use for the crosshair, but it's not to tell you where the drone is going to go. Yes, FPV laser tag, right? FPV, yeah, laser tag. That's it. Laser tag, that's what I meant. By the way, if you do put a pew pew on a drone, the FAA will not like that. <laughs> they will, you will become public enemy number one for the FAA. They will not like that. So. Uh, so don't, don't do that officially. I feel like it's in my best. When I was talking about beyond line of sight flying, I was like, eh, I'm not your mom. I'm not going to tell you not to do it. I feel like it's in my best interest and the interest of my channel to advise you not to put pew pews on drones. <laughs>